Hey, what's happening guys and gals? Welcome back to Gun Vault 2, here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel. Oh yeah! So last time we took down the Pink Merman, and today Man. we're going after... What should we call it? Also, we got our Excalibur weapon again, which was one of my favorite abilities from the previous Gun Vault. So yeah, we're gonna end up using that a lot, because it's awesome! Nice. Mission brief and go. Yeah, what is it, Tao? I need you to look into an old Sumeragi facility. So Eden's the bad guys, if you're just joining us. I know who Eden is! Oh, oh. Digimon! Digital monsters! Digimon are the champions! Digitized. Yeah. You've been digitized. Into warriors. Digitized. Into champions. So we're gonna fight Digimon now. Nah, probably not. There's a lot of risk here. Can we count on your help? Why in reading when they already do it? I like how he says, yeah, of course. That's, what if somebody cool. doesn't have their glasses on? Did I say it right? Data facility. Virtuality, a brave new digital world where reality is visual and fact is fiction, all ruled by a fatally glitched set of protocols. Whoa. Virtuality. It's the Matrix, basically. Strike! Let's do this, team! And no, I will not be changing my bolt weapon because we saw what happened when I tried to get rid of Sybaris. It was not good. Stick with what you know, and you can go far. What? I wanted you to have a fancy weapon, K-Wing, that actually did no damage at all. No, we have Excalibur. We're, we're good. That's all we need. That's all we need but in life to move to forward. I wanted to look flashy. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but... Okay, this is a weird level. Whoa! Disappear, reappear. It's like, hey, what's going on? Everything I'm, I'm gonna... you know is a lie. <sighs> what's real is it... I... Probably... Yeah. Probably gonna end up fighting like Whoa, a the laws of physics. You know what this feels like? Do you remember in the NES days there were some games like you would go off the screen and then end up coming back? Like I believe yeah. um, the original Super Mario did that, or Mario Brothers it wasn't Super Mario. Um, the yep. one where you would have to fight those things in the sewer and they would walk across and then come back. Even Joust was like that. <laughs> Old school. Yeah, that does remind me of that a lot. Come on, just fall already. I won't tell anybody. Uh, speaking of falling. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just avoided those spikes there. Would have gotten the point of that. I know, right? What's the point? Wait, who is that? That looks like Jewel. Is it Jewel? But where is she? I don't know. Uh, Jewel doesn't look very good right now. She just looks kind of bad. Oh, I think that is her following you, but she's, like, basically not even there. Well, our connection has been a little severed. Maybe you guys should start getting... Maybe you should get Comcast and your connection will get better. With Jewel. I thought you were going to say they should get couples counseling. It's like, they, they have a very strange relationship. I mean, she's not really human anymore. Yeah. She's kind of like a digitized version of herself. See, so she's a Digimon now. Yeah, pretty much. She's been digitized. Instead of, you know, going to the digital world to see the Digimon, you, you basically talk to her inside you, your head. You know what would be great about being digitized, though? Mm. Okay, first of all, you would save so much money on food, you wouldn't have to eat. Secondly, you wouldn't have to rent at all anywhere to live, because technically oh. you don't need a place to live because you don't sleep anywhere. And, uh, yeah, basically Wait, you would I don't, say... I don't sleep anywhere? No, or? I'm saying, like, if you were digitized, you would basically uh, not have any bills anymore. Unless they did digital bills, and then you would be in big trouble. Well, why would you need digital bills? I mean, it's not like you're living somewhere in the digital world. Well, I mean, even in Sword Art Online, you had to pay rent. Yeah, but she's just a floating, like, digital... She doesn't really need to... I know, but, uh, I mean, what would it even feel like to become digitized? I mean, would there even be feelings anymore? Or would you be, like, you know, that guy from, uh, Superman? Um, what's his face? Not Cyborg. Um, Met uh, Metallo, yeah. yeah. The guy who has no, like, feelings or taste or smell or anything like that. He has these amazing abilities now in Super Strength, but he's not human anymore. He gave I up know. certain things like touch and smell and... 
all the things that make you human to become like a cyborg person. I know, it's so scary. I know. Are you talking about the one in Lois and Clark where he becomes like a metal man? No, I'm or just that's a different Metallo person? is everybody, John Corbin. Yeah. Corbin's always Metallo. I know, that would be really I don't know, that'd be really freaky. Yeah, you I could never go back. No. Nope. You'd be like, oh, this is awesome. I can do everything I ever wanted to do. However, um, I'm not. Yeah, I can't feel anything anymore. That would be really freaky. Nope. I mean, we still haven't gotten to the point where. I, except there was this one guy in uh, China who made, like, kind of an android of. Uh, what was her name? Um, she's an actress. Scarlett Johansson. He made an okay. actual android that looks exactly like Scarlett Johansson. And That's... it sounds like her, but it doesn't move. It would be like if Scarlett Johansson was just like um, restrained to just some binary, like basic movements and couldn't get out of a chair. Oh, yeah. Something like that, you know, but it, it looks like her, That's... talks like her, moves like her, but it's not real. I mean, well, it is real, but it's not real real. It's, it, it might have a soul of silicon, but I mean, you know, it's gonna be... I'd say it's at least 50 years before robots can take oh, over the world. You know, like, it reminds me of... Oh my gosh, I saw this video where I think this news organization was interviewing these people that made a... Supposedly a thinking robot. The robot didn't really look like a human, You're but talking like... talking like AI? Yeah, like, they were working on AI, and the... You would ask the robot questions. Like, it had kind of a human face, but it didn't really look that great. Think, like, mmm, I don't know how to say it. Like, not not as bad as Nintendo 64 graphics, but Nintendo 64. just, like, a little better than that for, like, how the face looked. So, basically, like, asking it questions and... It asked this one question that was like, will robots be taking over the world? Like, he just added... Oh it my for, god! He asked it for a joke, and I remember the response was something really weird. Like, the robot was, like, taking over the world, and, like, I forgot what it said, but it was, like, really weird. It was, like, every... Yeah. People kind of took the clip and, like, put it all over YouTube and were like, this is their real motivation. <laughs> it was funny. I'll have to find that again because it was just funny the way the robot answered it. It was like, ooh. It was almost like it was thinking, like, yes, of course, like, because it has to answer everything truthfully, so. I don't know. <laughs> it's just interesting. I'm going to have to find it again. I'm sorry. I can't do that, Dave. I know. No, I don't, I don't want to be freaked out. That's that's something that I, I really don't want to have happen right now. Yeah, they about... just remembered that. Yeah, I, I, I go on the weird side of YouTube sometimes, but... Wait, is this a boss area already? No, mini boss. I mean, ah! who doesn't? Whoa! And then the other time, I just need to watch more kitten videos. Speaking of that, I need to put another video of my kitten up and just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put lots of... Whoa, you're just totally falling through here. You could say I'm falling for the robots. Robot yeah, wave. if you think about it, though, if there was AI, ah! though, um, like, even in this, like, Gunvolt, many times, like, they'll say what their mission is, like, they'll tell you, and it's like, I think that they would get to the point where, I mean, humans can lie, but maybe, especially, well, I'm sure AI would realize how to lie eventually. But, you know like, what this feels like, too? Portal. Yeah. Because you're, you're going, you know, you're moving from like one we place. We need to, to play the... that on this channel. I know. I know, I know. We need to do the Portal series. But yeah, I'm thinking like if you really had really intelligent life and, or AI computers and they didn't know how to lie, that would be the way to figure out, you know, what to do. Because when you ask them a question, they'd have to tell you. To... I'm going to ask my toaster, like, <laughs> uh, you know, what, what his plans for world domination yeah. is. And if like we are still friendly. Because I mean,. You know, everything has computers in it these days, so I mean, just be kind to your electronics and, you know, when they become your robot overlords, <laughs> um, you know, things should be better. Yeah, I know. You know, just be efficient and, you know, make sure you, you dust them off and, you know, you'll be fine. But no, um, this level is really cool. Sorry, it, it reminds me, too, of, um, do you remember that one episode of the animated series where Riddler had, like, this virtual world? I mean, everything was oh, red in it. Oh, yeah. It was like, you know, just like the, uh, oh, what was the name of that? The Virtual Boy. Um, back in the 90s, uh, virtu uh, VR was actually red. So, I mean, like, every you saw everything in, like, a, you know, what do they call it? Oh, um, yeah, like, um, 
Ult not ultraviolet. Um, where you see everything in red. I forgot. It, it's but... the kind of light that they use when you're uh, in like a developing studio for pictures and stuff. You have right. like red light. I can't remember. What Boss it's time. time. Yep. I made it. I'm ready to pummel you now. I said, "Wow!" Shark face. Shark. Shark face. Yeah, he's got a cute little thing smile. Muse fanboys are sad. Oh, so he's a. Uh... <laughs> he's like, nope. I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna use it to transform. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh, so he is part of Joel too. So they each have a little shard of her. Yeah, and they use it to transform. See? Okay. There's her butterfly powers. They're misusing it. And. There you go. Freaky! It's Tessio time. <laughs> That's his name. You know, you really shouldn't have used that ability because now I'm gonna have to murder you. Because that's what I do to my adept friends. I just destroy yeah, you. Yeah, totally. So he makes platforms so we can jump on time. Cool. Get down here and fight normal! There he is. Well, luckily your, uh, oh, death trap doesn't work too well on me because I'm Gunvolt. Oh, yeah! Astrosphere! Try this! Oh, he, he did try it, but then. Yeah, I think. Anyway, never mind. Well, you're gonna go back to No, the I was gonna it. get on it. I was, I'm just saying, I think the scariest thing about robots taking over the world. Yeah, previous topic. And then I'll stop. But I really think that there's no way, because they don't have a soul, that they wouldn't be able to tell morality, so they would just do whatever's practical. So I think that's the scariest thing. Even they... humans don't know how to tell morality anymore, though. Yeah, but morality some, changes some of them based do. on uh, people's like perception of the times. I know, but but people have the the opportunity to be moral, like they have the ability. You have the ability to learn right from wrong, whereas computers... Astrosphere! Yeah, that would be the scariest thing. Alright, so we're gonna try to finish this guy off with Excalibur. Anyway, but sorry. I, I really like this boss. I mean, it's a cool concept. Like, he makes platforms for us to stand on. He's, like, very video game-like, you know? It even looks like he's kind of a DJ. Like, he's up there, he's controlling all this stuff, like, right there. And then he brings in his different abilities. Uh-oh. Impenetrable Fortress. I don't like the sound of that. Whoa! Yep, yeah, sidestep. Don't like that one. Don't like it. I don't like being in this digital world. I want to go back to the real world now. Whoa! What is he shooting at you, anyway? Electricity and... Oh, okay. And stuff. Wow. Alright, pal. Unfortunately, I don't have enough power to use Excalibur yet. But, well, no, we don't have enough. I can do Astrosphere. Here we go. Do you like this? Astrosphere. Got him. So cool looking. We'll use Excalibur next time. Excalibur is very powerful, but it takes two gauges. Why does this game look so cool all the time? Because it's done by the guy I did Mega Man. <laughs> Nice work, GB! And Zero, and Legends, and all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna take out the main server, just in case. Take it offline. Okay, we're gonna make sure it's never used again. I'm gonna all take right. it out for a movie, and some dinner. And I'm gonna speak sweet nothings into its ear and make sure that, you know, robot invasion doesn't happen. That's right! That's and why then, we don't have to protect John Connor. <laughs> we're gonna watch Lois and Clark. I'll be back. And we're gonna have some snacks later and some ice cream. No, probably. Ah, uh, A rank. Oh yeah, let's talk about the robot. Oh, we could yeah. do that too. Though. So does that mean my Roomba is gonna come to life and like, <laughs> uh, you know, 
You don't have a Roomba. No, I don't. I don't. I, I don't wonder, trust them. I know they're too intelligent. They're like, oh, it's a carpet. I can get over that. It's like, ah, what sorcery is this? I'm pretty <laughs> sure I gave a, a Roomba to my parents, but I, I never did one for myself because I just, I don't know. They're they're That's scary. scary. I mean, can you believe? Like, can you imagine sometime coming home and it locks you out of the house and it's like, can you let me in, Roomba? It's like, well, have you seen those sci- sorry, sci-fi, sci-fi movies to do that, where Luke. they're like, um the household appliances turn into actual big robots. What? Inside the Garden of Eden's remote fortress. What sci-fi movies are you talking about? You're scaring me. Like little Transformer stuff. The yeah. Oracle Zonda offers up prayers at the altar of of just the altar. The altar. <sighs> and now she's a little girl. I sense something in my mirror shard. Another of the seven has given their life in battle. Yeah, well, that makes three. It's so interesting, they show the emotion of the bad guys, like from their perspective. You usually don't get to see that, in, like American stories. That's right, because we beat Merman, we beat Scary Girl. The seven are Eden's most powerful warriors. So those are just regular adapts in the background. Why does she look so cute, but she's so evil? Losing one strikes fear in the rank and file. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. The seven are resolute. Her outfit is so kawaii. As they return to the hands of the enemy, okay. She did something to the shards. Normalization process. Is that like Protocol 10? Mm, is it like Cyberman? Cyberman? Uh, soon my prayers and my plan will be made whole. It's kind of interesting that they made a basic enemy the main villain of the next game. Oh, yeah, I know. Zonda was just like a regular boss. Like, you know, like a Mega Man boss. Totally. And then in this game, he be- uh, she became Dr. Wily. And yeah. with that, a hush falls over the garden. Except for that guy in the background who's holding his head like, <gasps> What? We lost three? Ah! Yeah. So, I mean, everybody else is calm except for that guy. So that just leaves this guy. Um, for our next mission, which I'm kind of awesome. excited about that. I can't wait. I really felt bad for taking down the tech guy because he was kind of cool. But he anyway, was pretty cool. He had an awesome hat with spikes on it. it he was like cool. a techno DJ. His level was really interesting too, going from like left to right. But anyway, guys and gals, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with more Gun Vault 2. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.